What we're going to make now is an alternative take on the classic dish, squirrel fish. Squirrel fish. But we're going to use squid. So I'm going to ask you to julienne some veg with your lovely sharp cleaver. So I'm just adding enough oil to the pan so it's about one and a half to two centimetres in depth. So it's, we're not going to be deep frying and we're not, it's kind of- It's kind of a shallow fry. A shallow fry, fry yeah. Squirrel fish, let's talk about that. Like that comes from the Jiangsu region of China. The cooking technique is is very simple, but it's all in the presentation. Basically, to begin, you're just pulling the guts out of the squid. And then I've made a cut just before the eyes, and then I'm just going to pull the skin off, and then I'll open it out and give it a rinse. So I'm just dragging my knife across. I'm not applying much pressure, and it's going through the squid, but not all the way. So you can see those little score lines. So what do you need in the sauce? You let me know. Yeah. So we've got um, the rice vinegar. Okay, seasoned rice vinegar, yeah. Yep. So four tablespoons of the seasoned rice vinegar. Okay. And then also four tablespoons of stock. So you could use a veg stock is fine or chicken stock. If you don't have a stock on hand, you could add water. So four tablespoons of stock with that. Uh, and then next we're going to add Leaf and Keys chilli garlic sauce. It's going to add spice, which isn't conventional for sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Two of those. So next we're going to season. So we're going to add the premium light soy sauce. Okay. For salt and umami and depth. Two tablespoons. Okay. And then of course we need our sweetness because it's sweet and sour. Yeah. So two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Yep. And then ketchup. Right, so we just give that a good mix. I've got the oil on the heat now, and I want this to be around 180 for okay. the frying of the squid because I don't want to overcook the squid and make it tough. So I don't have a thermometer. Oh yeah, well that, that's what these Lee Kum Kee chopsticks are perfect for. Because wooden things, if you sort of dunk them into oil, as soon as wood starts to fizz, your oil is at about 180 degrees C. Perfect. Not quite there yet. So I'm going to dust my squid with corn flour. Mm -hmm. I want to spread it a little just to make sure that we get some corn flour in those crevices. In this pan, if you could um, bash up two cloves of garlic for me. Okay. And fry them in a little oil, and yep. then we'll get the sauce underway. Okay, cool. Our oil is hot enough now. So you'll see when I add the squid, I'm just gonna shake the excess off. It will curl Ooh, yeah. up. Yeah, definitely squirrely. Very in its squirrely. own weird way. <laughs> so we don't want to add too much squid to the pan, or else it'll reduce the heat, uh, the temperature of the oil. Sure. Now I've got my onion and my veg going in, and it's, when it's cooked so quickly like that, it just it has that perfect texture. So you shouldn't overcook squid because it can get very rubbery. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get the sauce in. And you can see on our squid that because we've fried the squid at the correct temperature, the oil has cooked it, but it's not absorbed. So you can see how on our paper towel, we don't, it's not drenched in oil. And that's because we've shallow fried, but nice. also the correct temperature is really important to stop it absorbing into the food, rather it just cooks the food. Right, and you've got a really nice crisp edge, but it's still soft inside as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Layer the sauce and then I'll put the squid on. Okay. I am really excited by this. And then just a really simple garnish with spring onion. Right, it's your dish. You try first. You know what I'm going for first. Oh, the tentacles. Obvious. Right. Mmm. The chilli garlic sauce gives it a lovely heat. It does, yeah, but it's not too spicy, is it? It's not too hot. I mean, I'll show you that. Look at that. Beautiful scoring. It's pretty good because we keep eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Go away <for> now. <laughs>